Good morning everybody. So I thought I would do a bit of a spend the day with me vlog today. <clears throat> um, so I've spent the morning so far in bed reading, having a very relaxing Saturday morning. And I'm about to get dressed and ready for park run, have a little bit of something to eat to make sure I can do the whole run. Uh, the last couple of weekends I've been really just relaxing, kind of trying to figure out how to enjoy myself by slowing down, not feeling pressure to do anything, to be honest, and just really enjoying myself, and it's been really wonderful. So I don't really have many plans this week weekend either. Uh, my husband's at work this weekend, so me and the dog and the cats as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see what I get up to. So my only plan so far for today is park run, but I might do a little bit of decorating uh, seeing as we've got quite a lot still left to do so maybe I'll do some of that uh, but yeah I will let you know so I'm hoping park run goes well today I've done park run the last two weekends having not done much running at all and last Monday was bank holiday weekend and I did a 10k race on the Monday and I am so pleased I managed to run the entire 10k so really happy about that um, it was obviously a bit slower because I'd not done much running, but not bad at all. I was really, really pleased. So yeah, I'm going to get dressed, get ready, have a little something to eat, and I'll see you in a bit. So I am back from park run. I thought I should show myself with my tomato face goodness. I am so proud of myself. I had pretty much given up running. And as I said earlier, I returned to a couple of park runs and did a 10K last Monday, which I was so pleased with. Uh, and the last couple of park runs that I did, well before that I was around the 40 minute mark, then I'd managed to get down to 36.19 and they had pacers this week and the slowest pacer was 34 minutes. So I was like, we'll see how it goes. And I managed to keep up with her halfway and then I managed to knock 1 minute 20 off my time last week and I got 35 minutes and 3 seconds. So I'm hoping next week I can get under the 35 minute mark and kind of get back to where I, I mean, before the pandemic, I was getting close to under 30 minutes. But anyway, it went well. I'm feeling really good, feeling so energized. And my latest thing that I'm into, my weekend treat to make it worthwhile going to park run, is that I stop at the local town market on the way home and get myself some flowers, sometimes some fruit, but I'm into getting flowers and the stall is really nice. The guy picks the flowers himself who, himself who is saying he spends Tuesday as his flower picking day. I'll make something else anyway, something like that. Um, and all of them are labelled if they're English grown, if they're grown in our county or otherwise. And um, I got myself for two pounds some tulips. I'll show you. So they come in plastic wrap. But he has said, if I keep the plastic wrap, if I don't rip it, I can return it and he will reuse it. So that's really nice. And then in the garden, I've just picked or cut some rosemary, a bit of a bush and some of these leaves. And I'm going to try and make a pretty bouquet. We'll see how that goes. I'm so pleased with this. So the tulips were two pounds from the market, locally grown. The rosemary and hedge and some extra green leaves were from my garden. I don't know what kind of hedge it is. And these uh, gypfoliums were, I bought them I think two weeks ago and this was the last bit that hadn't gone, turned to a brown stick. So reuse those as well. And it's so pretty. I'm so happy with that. <sighs> just makes it nice and lovely and pretty in the living room makes me very happy right now I'm going for a shower <laughs> so I'm all in my DIY uniform feeling very cute <laughs> very clean which is nice uh, so before I do any of that it is definitely breakfast time so I'm gonna make some waffles and I'm not gonna do the healthy ones that I normally do like the healthy banana oat milk sorry what am I saying Banana, I'm really hungry. Banana, oats, oat flour and plant milk. I'm doing actual ones with like flour and things. 
so I am absolutely brain dead and exhausted so I am gonna make some waffles and I will catch you in a bit flowers a year out of date but I don't worry too much about use by date so if I get any issues we'll know why Batter in here. Uh oh. <laughs> Hopefully they're okay. I really hope these taste as good as they look. Wow. I've got just chopped nuts, bananas, some maple syrup on there. <coughs> Quiet. An angry and jealous little boy as well. So it's like just before 12, so this is very much a brunch. <laughs> Though I'm sure I'll eat something later. Uh, well, I definitely will. Um, I thought this might be a good point as well to say that I am on this channel, you know, anything to do with me online, I am never ever going to talk about weight fluctuation, dieting, weight loss, weight gain, um, any kind of negative talk around weight in general, bodies in general. It's taken me a very long time and a lot of proactive work and effort to accept what my body is like and to let go of the horrible diet culture, weight loss culture that we have. Um, so that's not something that I'm ever going to discuss. I feel happy to discuss kind of my park run times and things like that because I feel good about getting stronger and looking after my body but in terms of doing park run to lose weight or um, doing exercise for the purpose of weight loss is is absolutely not about that for me it's about feeling good in my body getting stronger and taking care of myself um, so yeah just wanted to say those topics are not going to be topics that I ever talk about because I just think it is damaging and it triggers people and I'm not about that at all I am very much about body acceptance body positivity and love as well but I think body acceptance is a really good place to be just accepting who we are and it has no detriment or help to who we are as people what our bodies look like it's completely irrelevant so yeah just thought I would touch on that My eyes may have been way bigger than my stomach <laughs> but I will save the rest to eat later. Absolutely no food waste in this house. Um, that's my rule. Well as much as, po as much as humanly possible anyway. Some stuff ends up in the compost but no food in the bin. Anyway <clears throat> I'm feeling absolutely knackered. <laughs> I really pushed myself running this morning so I'm going to take a little break. I started watching Porco Rosso. A little break. A break from what? A break from standing <laughs> or sitting. I'm going to lie down. <laughs> no, anyway. Um, I started watching Porco Rosso with my food. So I'm going to watch that. I probably won't watch the whole movie. Um, it's a Studio Ghibli movie about a pig pilot man. Um, you should watch it. If you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. All the Ghibli movies are on Netflix and I highly recommend them for adults and children alike they are absolutely for everybody timeless stories um yeah so i'm going to take a little bit of a break and then i will think about whether i want to do paint a wall i do want to think about whether i have the strength <laughs> to paint a wall or not so yeah see you in a bit
So it is now several hours later. I am looking, I don't know about windswipes, it's not really windy, but <laughs> um, so yeah, quite a lot's happened, I suppose. Um, I ate half my breakfast, then I fell asleep <laughs> for like 45 minutes, so I didn't really watch much of Porco Rosso because I fell asleep. Um, and then I was doing some gardening, repotting some plants, and then a friend popped by to show me her new sunglasses. And then I said, let's go for a wander because I wanted to go to the local plant sale. Um, I didn't film any of this. Uh, so we popped out, I am so tired, but we went to the plant sale. It was just at a lady's house that dotted around the town today. And I got a little chili plant. I got a marrow and a tomato so i've already got quite a few tomatoes but this one was a little bit further along so i thought it'd be nice to have one that might have a better chance than the one that i'm doing but i'm really pleased with all my potting up my plan is to have raised beds so i've started getting the gravel up so we're going to get rid of the gravel bring the patio back um, and then have some raised beds in there and then an area of lawn and flowers and things like that but that will happen at some point. I'm making slow progress moving the gravel because it is so tiring. My arm is even tired now holding the camera. So yeah, I'm pretty knackered. It's been a beautiful day though. There was rain on the forecast all day when I looked yesterday. It's actually been a really lovely day. And when I was out with my friend walking, we saw the cutest thing. It looked like five little long tailed tits had just fledged out of a nest and three of them were all bunched up really really close together cuddling up and it was so so cute and we were looking at them and they didn't even notice us I don't think so that was so nice but I didn't get a picture because I didn't have my phone or anything with me because <laughs> I tend to go out without having anything so yeah this has been a bit of a random strange day and it's gone really fast it's nearly five o'clock now so I think I'm going to have a cup of tea and sit on the sofa and read my book because I am absolutely knackered. After the run this morning and then doing the um, moving gravel, like with a shovel, shoveling gravel, and then going for a walk, I think we're probably out for about an hour walking, so <sighs> I'm tired. But yeah, so I'm going to have a cup of tea and read a book. I think that sounds very nice right now. And I just remembered something else that I was going to say. I just quickly went and got changed so I have a, a skirt and a cardigan on. Um, I have been, I saw this on Instagram, putting a banana peel in a jar of water, leaving it for a couple of days on the windowsill, and then using the water to water my plants. Um, I would suggest cleaning the outside of the banana skin, if, especially if you're not buying organic bananas, just in case there's any pesticides or anything on the outside. Um, but yeah, it seems to be working quite well. The plants seem to be springing up suddenly now that I've started doing that. So that's really nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, time for that tea. <laughs> Good morning, it's now seven o'clock on Sunday morning. Uh, I forgot to film anything else yesterday. So um, yesterday just had a simple and easy dinner and watched some anime with my husband. Uh, we're watching Spy Family or Spy X Family, which is coming out at the moment and it's so good. We're loving it. Um, anyway, I'm up early and I'm heading to my local farm to go and check some nest boxes. So. That's going to be really nice, looking forward to that, um, just spend the morning there 
checking the boxes, seeing what birds are around and things. Um, I won't do much filming, certainly not inside the nest boxes because you want to spend as little time as possible when you're at the boxes. But yeah, it's a lovely morning, so I'm heading out now. Wow, it's been such a lovely, perfect Sunday morning so far. Um, so I had a wonderful time checking the nest boxes. I was at the farm for about two and a half hours, uh, just walking around, really enjoying seeing all the wildlife. The skylarks were singing pretty much the entire time I could hear them singing. I could hear the cuckoo, which I heard for the first time last Wednesday. So that return to the farm or the area around the farm this week and lots of activity at the nest boxes and birds around and really really lovely and then got home and have just had a pretty chill time to be honest and I've just been reading in the garden for quite a long time it is such a beautiful day 
It's my absolute favourite time of year without a doubt. Just everything is so green. The birds are singing all of the time. It's just absolutely glorious. So yeah, I've been drinking lots of juice and tea and reading and just having a very relaxed time. And while I was at the farm, I actually did an Instagram post because I was thinking about how I might actually do a full video about it, but kind of thinking about how the planet needs us all to slow down a little bit. It's something I've definitely talked about before and we'll certainly talk about again, but kind of the realisation that using less of the planet's resources and being kinder to the planet and more thoughtful of the impact I'm having on the planet has actually led me to really take stock of what I'm doing and it, it makes me take less journeys that are further and just have a lot less on my plate so I'm not rushing around all the time and yeah it's just really kind of a, a reflection that kindness and compassion for the planet has really led to having kindness and compassion for myself and it is more than just that uh, so it is more than that just that and it might not be the same for everybody but that is how I've been feeling lately so yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to potter around a bit. I have had the most scrumptiously, deliciously wholesome and just lovely weekend this weekend. Um, so this afternoon I did a little bit of Japanese study and then I watched a movie while I had my lunch. It was a, a vegan fish finger sandwich. I couldn't tell you what a real or a fishy fish finger tastes like, but the vegan fish fingers were fun. It was fun to try something different. It had a bit of a fishy taste, I suppose. Um, yeah, a very fishy taste. They were made by bird's eye and they were good. Um, and then I had some cake and some coffee and I snuggled up and I watched a Violet Evergarden anime movie this afternoon. There is nothing more mm, decadent than watching a movie on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, so after I finished that we just went out for quite a long walk and it's absolutely beautiful outside. Everything is green and coming to life. We saw so many baby birds that are just fledged from their nests and the river looked absolutely beautiful and looking up through the canopy of the trees I was just looking up at this beautiful oak tree at all the leaves and a man said oh is there something interesting up there I said oh I'm just looking at the green leaves and I think he 
well, he seemed quite nice, but anyway, I'm gonna sign off now anyway, so it's um, gonna be coming up to dinner time soon. I'd say I'm winding down, but I've been pretty wound down this afternoon, so continuing to wind down and prepare for the week, and yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you're doing well, and hopefully I'll see you again really soon. So please do follow me on Instagram and subscribe and like the video and all that good stuff. It would be lovely to stay in touch with you. So thank you. Bye.